Hey, what's up? This is Spider Prime 1 back again with another Transformers video review. I'm trying to do at least one a night, so the next random one that I just grabbed off of a off of a shelf is the Last Night Barricade, which was the first of three Last Night toys I have currently. Um, I'm still looking for the Megatrons, you know, out in the wild, so I don't have to break the bank in order to get them. Um, but yeah, so Barricade was the first one I picked up because I actually like the character lack thereof character of barricade um it's a decepticon police car it's 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 cool um i'm not too big a fan of the gun storage on the back but a lot of the toys even the die casts have this on the back so there it sits um but yeah it's a kind of beefy nondescript police car because for some reason they can't make it the full mustang version it is in the movie um, but I have seen pictures of, like, I think it's a third-party company that's making one. It's either a body kit or it's just a, a third-party figure that makes it look exactly like it does in the movie. Um, but yeah, I really like Barricade. I'm not as big a fan of this version as, say, like, the Dark of the Moon version. Um, but... It's still a fun figure to transform back, backwards and forwards. Um, and speaking of... Let's start by... Whew, not popping it all the way off, but that works too. It's just a friction joint, so it's okay. Um, and then want to fold the doors in. And then separate the feet here. And then we want to flip this panel out and back to where it's just kind of resting on the tire. And then bring the foot down. And then spin it at the thigh. And there's the legs done. And then come down here and flip the front panels down and then you want to pull the fist out like so notch it forward on the on the arm strut and then bring this down and then twist the bicep to where the elbow is facing forward and then twist the fist to where it's facing forward And then fold that down and then accordion this to his back and then we'll take the gun piece plug it in like so and then close it around his forearm and there is the last night barricade So yeah, he's a little more he's a little more beefy this time around, especially in the the hood chest area. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm digging the face. Let's see if we can focus in on the face here. Focus, please. Come on. Let me focus. 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 Oh, almost. It uh, doesn't want to... Oh, oh, there we go. Inch him slowly. Slowly. There we go. That's close enough. Um, but yeah, it's a new face this time around since in Dark of the Moon, his half of his head kind of got blown up by a grenade. Um, but he still has the, the four optics. And it uh, blurred out again. Okay, whatever. Um, but he still does have the four optics, um, two on each side, like he did originally. Um... One thing that was cool in the movie, though, the two inner optics were red and the two outer optics were blue, like the police lights. That was actually really cool, and I wish the toy had those, but no, it's just four red optics. Um, 
and he's got uh, either some people call them knuckle dusters. I call them brass knuckles. Um, but he's got them on each foot on a forearm, each fist. And unlike in the movie, again, in the movie they say punish and enslave, like it says on on the back of the car. But here they say protect and serve. You know, like a normal police car would. Um, kind of not big on that. I wish they had said punish and enslave because that's, you know, his character. That's his effectively the motto he gave himself. Um, but, you know, it's, it's whatever. Um, he does come with you know, three accessories, one of which is the, the wraparound chain gun. Uh, the other two are pinned to his legs. Uh, one of which is a police baton or nightstick, which can be held like so. Or like so. And then put back on his leg. Which I do like that they're, they're leg mounted. That's actually pretty cool. And then the other is a pistol. Which can only be held this way. And what's funny is look, just looking at it and looking at it in his hand. And like having it, like trying to pose him with it. Like he's shooting at somebody. The gun just looks a little dinky in his hand. It doesn't. It it doesn't look right. I don't know if it's just because it's super squared, um, like it's a legit right angle and that's it, um, or the fact that it just it sticks up too high because there's the trigger and the finger hole, and then this is just plastic. There should be a gap right here to fit around his fist by just by looking at how the gun is molded um so i mean you could go in there and just shave that plastic down so that way his hand can fit in a little better um well no not really because then you'd have to cut the finger hole out but it looks like it's there's supposed to be a, a void there so that way it's the gun barrel with an attachment of a sight instead of just a flat piece of plastic um but I do like that they at least have the, 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 the hammer on the back of it. Um, so we'll just plug it back in. I was like, I don't usually use the pistol and the nightstick anyways when I'm messing around with barricade. I just use the, the arm gun. Um, but he is still a fun toy to mess with. Um, for articulation, his head is on a, a ball joint, so it's got a little bit of wiggle and it can turn. Um, he's got, uh, <clears throat> pin and swivel in his, in his shoulder. He's got a mushroom peg for his bicep, bend at the elbow. Both of the wrists are on, uh, swivels. No waist because of the, the accordion back here, but he does have a, uh, ball jointed hip so it can come up. Go back, hit into the the police back back uh, backpack, and can go out about that uh, about full split. Um, it can uh, turn at the thigh because of the transformation. It can bend at the knee, and you can shoot you from the knee. Um, and then not a lot of foot like actual foot articulation, but if you like bend the foot forward and then fold down the. Uh, the heel piece, you can kind of get him into a, a walking stance. But yeah, all in all, Barricade's a pretty good figure from uh, Wave 1 of, of The Last Night. Um, I wish, you know, every subsequent wave after that was easy to find out in the wild. Because um, I am looking for for Hot Rod, I'm looking for Drift, and then the two Megatrons. Um, but we'll see what happens. Um, try and do another video tomorrow. We'll probably do it a little earlier in the day since work schedules and stuff like that. Um, 
But for right now, I'm Spider Prime 1, this has been The Last Night Barricade, and I am signing off.